2023 marks my full 25th year in the industry and in, in the financial services industry. And as such, when you spend a good deal of time doing something around a lot of smart people, a lot of amazing mentors, you should learn something. I'm going to share the top three things I've learned in my 25 years of doing what I've been doing. And hope Fully, I'm, I'm in, in hopes I'm, that it's going to make a positive impact on your life and hopefully help you avoid some of these mistakes that I've made over time and positively impact your career. And so thought number one is we suffer more in our mind than we do in actuality. So often we allow how hard we think something is going to be to impact the actions we take. And so what we have learned at Developing the Next Leaders is that when we think something is going to be hard, we immediately start taking actions on it. Because things are usually way more difficult here and they cause way more stress than the actual event itself if we just let it sit up here and talk about it. As soon as we think something's gonna be really, really difficult, we start taking action on it. And I'm gonna ask you to do the same thing. Don't stress on it, act. Thought two is stop worrying about being embarrassed. So many times we're afraid about walking into an office or asking someone for money or um, putting our content out on social media for fear of being embarrassed or someone laughing at us or people talking behind our back. Don't worry about it. This comes with age to some extent. I agree. I understand that part of it. However, it's a vital point in life. If you truly believe that what you're about to share brings value to the lives of the people that you want to serve, put it out there. Make the ask walk into the office, do the meeting, ask people for money to invest in you. When your heart's in the right place, there is never room for embarrassment. Third thought is this, <clears throat> is if you allow success to change the way you act, you allow failure to do the same. Here's what I mean by that. If you have an amazing successful year in, or, or event in whatever you're doing, and you act differently afterward, meaning you do less things because you've had that success, then failure is going to drive the same thing. Meaning, if I had a really bad meeting, I'm going to be afraid to have the next meeting. I have never let success nor failure impact the actions and the attitude I bring to those actions. And I'm going to ask you to consider that same thing. In other words, I don't read my own headlines. What I care about is I know the actions that we as an organization have to take to help the maximum amount of people. And I know if we do those with the right attitude, success will follow. We will learn from the failures and we will succeed wildly because we are focused on the things that matter most, the actions and activity. Good selling everyone. And if you will, please subscribe below.